Good morning, you heard me Stefan Lehman from Bedford View and Edenville newspaper. Today I'm here at Terrace Road Veterinary Hospital with Dr. Shabir um, to talk about some preventative measures oh, pet owners can um, use, can, make, can give to their dogs uh, uh, to prevent heat stroke. Um, we, we, we decided to do this, come speak to Dr. Shabir with the increase in heat waves that we experience. I um, mean, we've got the December coming along and um, I've got a feeling it's going to be a warm December. So doctor, what, what, what tips or what, what, what can pet owners do to sort of prevent heat stroke on, on with the animals? So, so the first thing I think is um, that the owners need to be aware of their breeds. Mm. Um, certain breeds are, are far more predisposed to the problem than, than others. Um, your brachycephalic, your, your flat-faced dogs, the bulldogs, um, staffies, um, highly excitable dogs, um, those are the most of those, those are the patients we see coming in. Um, so if the owners, or if people have those dogs, they need to be more careful yeah. than a person maybe with a German Shepherd. Yeah. Exercise um, extra caution. Definitely, yeah. definitely. Um, the, the thing is with, with heat stroke, it's, it's a mechanism failure. So the owners are probably in total control of what's going to happen. Um, we say to, to prevent heat stroke, we need to not exercise dogs in the heat. Mm. Um, saying that even a warm evening exercising a bulldog can bring on heat stroke or, or, or over exercising any dog even on a warm night mm. it, it can do it yeah hot summer's evening absolutely yeah. so, so we need to be very very careful with exercise and look at the signs that, that the dogs present um, shade for the dogs in the day in the gardens need to be um, it, it needs to be planned because shade is you know not just shade it needs proper ventilation good airflow you know different areas so the dogs can actually cool down because Closed areas in the shade can also get very hot. Yeah, I suppose like a kennel. Exactly. In the, like a dark green kennel, those plastic yeah, ones would yeah. get very hot inside. That, that, that becomes an oven. Yeah. Um, water needs to be available. It sounds stupid, but we need fresh water, we need cool water, we need water that's kept in the shade or in the cool, um, in the cool areas in the garden. Um, you can also put some ice cubes in the water bowl just to. To, to promote drinking and you know, it cools down quicker the cooler the water. Yeah. Um, you can also give dogs access to cool areas of the house. So I know garage floors are pretty cool and they're shaded. Um, so if it is a very hot day, just leave the garage open, let the dogs go Or, in or, or would, would a tiled patio? Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. So, so these sorts of things, if the dogs don't have access to those things, let them, let them get in there. Um, the signs, just quickly, okay. to look out no for um, dogs, Dogs pant excessively, but, but not just panting, it, it becomes almost like an anxious, difficult breathing panting. Mm. Their mouth and their, and their nose and their tongue gets very, very bright red or purple. Um, they are in obvious discomfort. There's no question, I mean, the owner can see this is something different. The dogs don't want to get up and move because all their energy is concentrated on their, on their breathing and their cooling. Um, and, and they can appear disorientated. Yes. Um, when that happens, when you see that, just get the dog to the vet as soon as you can, um, and you know it, it can be a life-threatening. Like, depending on the situation. Depending on how hot they get, for how long they were hot. It, it, depending it, on the breed, etc. Yeah, you know, <laughs> it's, it's not it's not a not a thing to take lightly. Yeah. And and worst case, you go to the vet and it's not that bad. The dog will go home. But rather that than rather be safe than sorry. Rather that than worry about the dog possibly having organ failures and stuff. No, wonderful, Doc. And now, if community members, um, uh, they, they feel that uh, their, their dog's in danger or, or of, of heat stroke or overheating, so you say the, vet, the veterinary hospital would be the, the best bet, their first port of call. So first thing, if they identify, they need to try to start the cooling process. Okay. So to start cooling the dog, um, just you can just hose water on the dog, um, a cold water, cool water bath, um, just put it in the bottle just to start. Yeah, like normal cold, normal, normal tap, water. tap water. Um, you can also, you know, if you're driving in the car, put the fan on, open the windows, you know, wet the dog, get yeah. this evaporation thing going. Um, you, you don't want to use ice. Um, it's, it's, it causes the blood vessels of the skin to constrict and you lose, you, you actually lose far less heat, you start to retain the heat. Mm. So never ice on the body or ice in the groin or ice on the dog, that just doesn't work. So yeah. a wet towel, 
is also nice to cover the dog with a wet towel and then get the airflow and then just get to the vet. No, thank you very much for your time, nice doctor. Pleasure. I really appreciate your help. Cheers.